I'm going to show you my most up-to-date workflow for writing e-commerce SEO blog posts. You can apply this to informational blog posts. You just need to change the product to an affiliate product. The articles look like this. So we have a DALI featured image and we have a very, very short article, but the main part of the article is this right here, which is the product comparison table. Now this is a best wedding suits for, 20, for men in 2024. So if you go on any other website, one of the things they will have is a lot of different suggestions for products. That's exactly what I have done here. Yes, they are our products, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how I'm doing this and it's a really, really good workflow. And I think a lot of people will be interested in seeing it. Everything is in the description. So the first thing you need is this paste bin right here. As you can see on, this is going to be the description. It's this paste bin here where it says find products that match the article using the paste bin script. So you need to put this into Visual Studio Code. So download Visual Studio Code if you don't have it. If you don't have Visual Studio Code, you'll probably also don't have Python. So make sure you download Python as well. Just install Python, install Visual Studio Code, open Visual Studio Code, and then click open folder right here. Right click on the background and then new folder, and then video one, two, three, let's just call it. And then select folder right here. And then right click here, new file, hi.py, and then paste the paste bin content right here. Now what this script does is it searches through a sitemap for a keyword that matches this term and doesn't match these terms. Okay. So the first thing we need is a term to write about. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to use keyword tool.io, which is a free keyword tool. I know it says subscribe to keyword tool, but if you scroll down, you can just see the keywords. And my tactic is just to type in something like best men's four. Okay. Which might seem a bit weird. But if you think about this combination, if you replace, if you replace men's with tent or, you know, whatever you're looking for, then you will find things in your niche as well. So we're going to scroll down here and you can see there are some good examples already. Best men's formal sneakers, best men's formal raincoat. And then I just scrolled down a little bit further and I really like these two here. We're just going to do one or maybe we'll do them both together. So we'll do work and travel. So best men's backpack for work, let's say. So now we know what the keyword is. We can replace the include terms with the term backpack. And then we'll save that. And then we also need the sitemap. So go to your sitemap, mine's on twomen.it slash sitemap.xml. Open up the products part of the sitemap. So I'll just show you how you do that in case people don't know. You highlight where it says uh, sitemap underscore products underscore one.xml question mark from equals blah, blah, blah. And then paste it into the top and press enter like you're opening a new web page. Right click here, save as and then save. And then you want to click on your downloads and you want to drag this and then you want to press alt tab and drag it into visual studio code, just like that. Okay. And then you want to right click here and you want to copy relative path and you want to click in high.py and then where it says, um, sitemap underscore products underscore one, you want to just replace that. So highlight everything between the two, um, inverted commas and then control V and then control S. Now this is set up to just find all of my backpacks. I'm going to click new terminal and do Python. Pi dot pi. And what this should do is it should list all of the backpacks that I have. So you want to go to the top one where it says RL and highlight across and then drag down all the way down to this final number here. Let go of your mouse and then press control C. And then we want to go to chat GPT. I want to set it on 3.5 and I want to say, create a markdown table of comparison for these products. And then you can see it's done it really, really quickly. I'm just going to use 3.5 for this from now on. Um, I didn't really trust that it would be good enough, but I need to find a way to make it quicker. The playground was being really slow earlier. So this is just way, way better. So this should write out the entire article sorry, the entire um, table. I'm going to click copy here. I'm going to go down to markdown to html.com, click inside this box, control A, control V, and then delete any chat GPT chat back. So we've done that. Right, now we're ready to write the article. So we're going to change this to GPT-4. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, 
store these products for Okay, so, and then we'll hit enter here. So I'll just read out what I said. I said, store these products for an article I want you to write in a moment. Just say, okay, they are stored if you understand. Okay, they are stored. Now go to my SOP. Again, you can find this in the description. Scroll down to the bottom, 0. 0.6. And from where it says, do not use footnotes. Obviously, you'll have to change uh, the collections and things to your internal links because this is set up to write for two men. So you'll also have to change all the internal links here because you don't want to be linking to my website, obviously. So change this, change this, all the things in red you'll have to change and also the internal links, obviously. And then we'll control V this in and then at the top of the prompt, we're going to say, write an article about best men's backpack for work and travel in 2024 and then hit enter here okay so it's writing a decent article but i'm just going to press stop here and say please include some internal links to my brands okay so this is now done so i'm going to press copy here I'm going to go i'm going to have to go to another markdown to html control a control v control a in the table control c and then you just want to look for a good place to put this. I don't want it to be under that table right there. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say, here's our picks for 2024 and then paste the table, click raw HTML. This is H1, which is a mistake. Always check this. So we're going to put this as H2. Also, I'm going to get rid of, I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm going to say the best men's backpacks for work and travel in 2024. Control A, Control C inside the raw HTML box, and then go to Shopify, add blog post. While this is doing that, I'm gonna say, now please give me a blog featured image for Shopify. And then we're gonna change these. So I always set this as the same author and put this as journal. Click show HTML, Control V, click show editor. Have a quick scroll through, make sure it looks fine. Yep. All the images look like they've been rendered correctly. Perfect, nice long table, and there are some internal links as well. Double click here, Control C, Control V. And then the meta description is often pretty bad, so you can change this. I am currently not changing this, but I will probably do an experiment in the future where I change it and see what ranks better. Um, this is good. The only problem with this is that things shouldn't be branded because I can't say that this was made by Kiton because obviously it wasn't. It's just a made up bag. So I'm going to say, give me a square and unbranded general featured image. And then because I am currently doing a challenge where I do 30 blog uh, 60 blog posts in a month, I need to set this 12 hours from the last one. The last one was at 10 a.m. on the 15th of January. And then we are done. We just need the featured image. And that takes about 10 minutes to do. Yep, this is fine. Let's just download this, whatever. Backpack's a backpack. Once it's downloaded, I like to click this little folder right here, right click here, rename, and then just say best backpacks for men for work and travel in 2024. It's just a little extra piece of SEO. You may as well do it. Like, doesn't take a lot. Another thing you can do is control A, control C, click here, and then put that here. You might have to get rid of um, special characters though, like that and that, and then press save. And then we are done. And I'm gonna press save right here. Now, I'm currently doing an experiment, like I said, where I post 60 blog posts in a month. And if you're curious how that is going right now, everything is indexed up to the one that was released today about eight hours ago. It normally takes about nine hours to get indexed. So if this one doesn't get indexed soon, I'm going to have to change something potentially, although there is still quite a lot of time, to be fair. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But the one before, which is the best men's suits for wedding in 2024, is indexed. And I'm sure that the German version, and et cetera, et cetera, are also indexed. That's it, guys. That is currently my best workflow for writing content. If I can do it in 10 minutes while making a video, you guys can do it in five minutes while, you know, 
concentrating and not focusing on video making and what you're doing as well. Thanks for watching. If you're watching up until this point, I'll see you very, very soon with some more content and peace out.